Welcome to Let's Rise or That, everybody. I'm Jill. Today we're going to be making uh, tripod parts. Let's have a look. So what I've got here is a Calamar K480 tripod. They're fantastic tripods, except they don't. I don't believe that they're made anymore. And I think also that they're made in in Europe. In any case, uh, I've got some broken parts. When you see stuff like that, never a good sign. Uh, this is all jammed up as well. The lever has broken parts also. Uh, but the primary part that is uh, required in order to connect my Manfrotto, which I'm call it, which serves as the uh, coupler for my iPhone holder. Well, that's destroyed. So let's make a new one and let's change the design slightly so that it improves it. Let's go. So this thing here is a, the actual base in which this uh, coupler, or base, or swivel base, goes into. And, and uh, that broke. And uh, when that broke, this, you know, was left in the tripod and this came apart, which let go of this and a disaster ensued. All right, so essentially what I'm going to do is sort of replicate this, but instead of trying to recreate this, because this is a mold, I'm simply going to make a hole in the middle, bring it down to the appropriate depth so that this can screw into here, right? So I'm going to take a piece of um, aluminum, put it in the lathe, turn all these features. It's just going to be one straight hole and then three tapped holes in here that would be number one sturdier and less complicated all right let's start with a two and a half inch piece of aluminum this is 6061 i believe and uh, let's carve out the features on the one side so we'll start with by facing it and then bring it down to diameter What you see here is a uh, high-speed steel tool that I made in order to carve those features. Now that the primary features are um, grooved in, uh, let's make a hole to accommodate a quarter inch uh, bolt. This is the final feature on this side of the main base and now I have to take a boring bar and uh, bring out the diameter uh, on which will sit inside the tripod. All right, let's give it a try and see how well it fits. Nice, very happy with that fit. I've now reversed the part onto the other side so I'm going to quickly face it and then start carving the features required on that side. Ok, 
Okay, let's chamfer the edge. That's the bottom part of it. And then we'll let's start uh, doing a 25 degree uh, chamfer for what appear will appear to be the top portion of the base. Now you can have a better look at uh, the actual 25 degree angle. And it's gonna give me uh, one eighth of an inch rim at the top. Now I need to drill a three quarter inch hole and it's going to go to a depth uh, which will leave approximately a quarter of an inch of material at the bottom of it. And then I, here I am uh, using a 9 16 end mill in order to make the bottom of it nice and flat. And uh, now I'm using a boring bar to bring the rest to appropriate diameter all the way down. Now I'm using a boring bar in order to produce the recess that it's going to accommodate that broken plate that was attached to that whole apparatus. One quick check to make sure it fits. Egg success. Now I've got a two inch piece of aluminum in the lathe and we're going to produce the uh, little plate that I tried inside the base because that was also broken. So that's what I'm making now. Now we need a hole for a quarter 20 bolt. So let's do that. And now let's use a parting tool and cut off the piece that we need. Okay, time to tap that quarter 20 threads. And now I'm gonna use a transfer punch to position the holes that we'll need to accommodate the 632 screws. And now we're going to go to the drill press and uh, I've got this clamped down together so that the hole can go right through, everything will be perfectly aligned. folks I've got the two parts done as you can see this is the one part that we did at first and then this is the part that goes on the tripod so uh, we're going to put all this together and uh, then put it on the actual tripod to see how it holds essentially all we're going to do here is take the screw Sorry. right fits really nice Now, what, to do the final install, I'll put some Loctite in there. Okay, so as it turns out, this is a moving part. So once, sorry, this, once this is loosened, this turns. Right? Because this is the base. This is the base. That's why, right? That actually goes here and it's made to turn. So that's why there's all these grooves in there. So once you, what you do is you've got a little grease underneath here and uh, this is made to turn. And uh, so now essentially, just gotta put this on, as you can tell I've marked them. And uh, once I get this screwed on, I'm gonna put that back on here with a little bit of Loctite. And it's going to be done. Hey, 
Okay, let's put a little bit of blue Loctite on here. All right, good. Should fit very nicely. If I could just do this with my left hand. Voila. All right, now that I've got this thing fully reassembled, mostly, I just want to show you how this thing articulates. I mean, it's an old tripod, but goodness, it's great. Um, so this, you know, a very light touch and it just holds everything. The base is movable left to right. Everything moves up and down and whatnot. So this, this was pretty important part of this system. Um, and, uh, it was a fun project to make. So if you've got an old tripod, don't hesitate, uh, to repair your stuff because they're well worth it. I mean, the good ones are quite expensive. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, and subscribe. Shoot me a comment if you like, because I always like to hear from you and take care. Bye-bye.